Welcome back to another NWR screencast. Uh, this is Michael Dean, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Sites to help set up your ePortfolio. You'll notice that I'm back at the Google homepage, and I am just going to sign in with my Google account, typing in my password, which I'm not going to tell you. Okay, now you're all logged in. So we're just going to head over here to the upper tab, go to More, and then you'll notice that we're going to select Sites instead of Documents this time. Okay, so you go ahead and select sites, and you'll notice that here it says, okay, we don't have any websites created, so we're going to go ahead and create one just by clicking the Create button. And here it gives us a list of a variety of templates, but for our purposes, all we're going to need is the basic blank template, which I'll click here, and then I'm going to name my website. So I'm just going to put in Michael Dean's ePortfolio. Okay, and then below that you'll notice that it is generating a URL for our website. Now this will be important later when you're going to want people to be able to visit it. Um, now it also gives us the option of a number of different themes which are all colorful and pretty and all that good stuff. That's not really important for what we're trying to do. We just want a basic website so I'm going to leave that be for now. Uh, I'm going to go down to the bottom to this fine fantastic captcha thing and I'm just going to type in the uh, code here and then that should create my web space. Alright, so it's created our web space here. You'll see that it's not very pretty, um, but it works for our function. Um, up here in the upper left hand corner is the home button. That will bring you back to this main page. Alright, you'll notice that many of the links here are uh, clickable. Up here in the upper hand corner we have the share button which will tell you how private it is. More will give you a number of different options, specifically how to manage your site, uh, subscribe history, all that stuff. Not really important for our purposes. Here we care about uh, edit page and new page. When you click edit page, that lets you alter the text of your web page. All right. So here I'm going to change the uh, title of the home page to Welcome to Michael Dean's ePortfolio. And below, I will just be able to type in any message that I want, just like any normal uh, text editor. This would be the perfect place to include your reflection portion of your ePortfolio. Now you can either pre-write your reflection piece and then just simply cut and paste it to this location, or you can type directly into the uh, web page like I'm doing here now. The main thing is once you're done writing your section, what you're going to want to do is uh, go up to the upper right corner here and type save. And you'll notice that the web page has now changed with my alterations. Okay. Our next task is to create a series of web pages to house our assignments. Those will go on the left sidebar here. We do that by creating a new page by clicking that button and then we're going to name it. Here I'm going to name it Narrative because that's the assignment that I am uploading. Okay? And you'll notice that it is created a URL for me. What I want to do for select a location is I'm going to choose the second option. That will put the page right under my home page so that uh, the narrative part doesn't come first. Okay? And once I've confirmed that everything is as I like it, I'm just going to head up straight to the top and click Create. And voila, we have our narrative page. And you'll notice right here on the left that it can be uh, minimized and it lives underneath my home page, which is just as I like it. And now I can edit just like I did the home page and then type in anything I want. I'm just going to simply put here is the final version of my narrative okay, assignment. Type that in there. And then what I want to do here is I want to insert the actual document. So I'm going to go up here to the Insert tab and I'm going to find Document. You'll notice that here it's giving me a list of all the documents that I have in my Google Documents account. Okay, And you'll see that I've uploaded a uh, visual analysis, a resume, all that good stuff. Now for our purposes it doesn't matter what we upload, so I'm just going to take the first document here, uh, double click it, and then you'll notice that it gives me this little pop-up window. Um, all the standard uh, settings that it has listed, 600 pixels, all this good stuff, uh, that should work fine for what we're doing. So we're just going to simply click Save, and you notice that it's showing a big section where the Google document is going to go. This little tab here above it will let me format where it appears on the page, but keeping it aligned left will work just fine for our purposes. Okay? Um, if you want to play with those, that's up to you. We just go to the bottom, make sure everything looks good, and then we click Save. Okay, and after I've saved the, the adjustment to the page, you'll notice that uh, the document is displayed in an embedded image here. I can scroll through it and read it at my leisure. 
Uh, and then now I'm just going to double check that it is indeed viewable. We do that by going down here and clicking on the file name at the bottom. And you'll see that it gives us a closer up view of it. It allows us to edit it if we want. But we want to go over here and take a look at the share tab. Um, right now it's private so that only I can see it. And we want to make it so that more people can access it. Now there are two options. There's public on the web and anyone with the link. Now for our purposes we want to do it with anyone uh, with the link so that only people we send the link to will work. Uh, but I'm going to make it public so that if anyone wants to see this uh, example ePortfolio uh, that will be available to them. So I've gone ahead and they've changed the sharing tab and I'm just going to go through uh, Google Sites again. Click where my website is displayed and see that everything is as it should be. And so the narrative right under my uh, welcome section and yep, the paper is displayed and perfect. So this is effectively how you go about creating your portfolio.